everybody. This is Kevy C. Today we're going to be setting up the Eaton Fuller 18-speed transmission for American Truck Simulator. And the way we're going to do this is you can buy uh, from several different sources. The one I, I use is the SKRS shifter, which we'll see in just a second. Uh, whatever shifter you get, make sure that you get it from somewhere that has it in stock. Uh, you could wait anywhere from two to six months if you order one from a manufacturer. These shifters are made by small companies, and sometimes their speed of production isn't what you'd like it to be. So make sure that you get it. Uh, I, I suggest you get it from Amazon and contact them, the uh, supplier make sure that they have it in stock. But again, the one I use is an SKRS. Uh, other people that that we play the game with on stream. Um, there's one that has one from Hong Kong, and that seems to work fine. Another one has uh, the same kind of buttons, but it also has the Jake brake on, built onto the shifter. Uh, of course, that one was was more money. But the bottom line is, you can you can get them. Just make sure that wherever you get it, it's in stock. So again, the one I'm using is a, is a uh, SKRS shifter. And the first thing you have to do is set it up in the game. Uh, so you go to Options and Controls. And then scroll down till you see this. So you want to choose the Eaton Fuller 18 speed. Then on the Shifter Layout Behavior, you want Advanced. Then for the Splitter, you want to make sure that you have your choice if you once you split a gear that's between high and low you can either do it using the throttle only um, having to push the clutch down which I do not recommend and then the clutch or throttle give yourself the option between those two All right, these buttons are all are already preset however the last two right here joy, joystick 2 is going to be the uh, shifter itself so you have your choice here. If you want to set it up realistically, uh, you would have button 1 on toggle 1 and 0 on toggle 2. I have it reversed because it's just easier for me to do so for, for reasons we don't need to go into. But the bottom line is it just makes it easier for, for me to uh, shift it. Now, the other thing we want to look at is at the very top of controls you'll have to select that you have in my case it's a G29 um, so you select that but this second one here is very important this happens to be the S SKRS model and you see it's an Arduino micro um, so you'll need to select that So that's your basic setup for it. And of course, transmission type is going to be an eight shifter because that's the pattern of the shifter itself. So those are the controls that you need to set up. Now let's go inside the truck. And I'm going to blow up the uh, dashboard display so that you can see the shifter. Right above the center hub of the steering wheel, you'll see the uh, the neutral stick so there you go so there's the shifter now this is a normal H pattern shifter so you've got six positions on it all the way over and forward is reverse and then you have your forward moving gears which is all the way over towards you then center up center back and then right up right back so typical six location shifter now, what's different about the 18-speed transmission is you have a range button and a splitter button. Now, again, in real life, these buttons are reversed from what I have. But I have the splitter on the front. And what the splitter does is it simply takes a gear and it's split between high and low. So, for instance, if you're in first gear, you have it a low setting, pull it up, and it goes to high. So just, again, watch the dashboard, and you can see that movement. The same thing applies in reverse. 
you have low and then high. Now, now you have a range button, which again was normally on the front, I've got it on the side, which puts it into low and high range. So this is now high range. So let's say that you put it in high range. Now where first gear used to be is now fifth gear. So let's go through the normal shifting process. So we're, at, we're down in low and on low position. So pull it over. There's low, 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 high. Go up the first, flip the splitter. There's one low, one high, neutral, two low, two high, all the way over up, three low, three high, all the way back, four low, four high, go to neutral, put the splitter down in the low position, flip the range to the high position, and there's fifth, which is five low, five high, there's six low, six high, and then there's seven low, seven high, and finally, eight low, eight high. So you say, well, where do the where do the 18 speeds come from? I'm only seeing one through eight, and then there's high and low in each. That's only 16. Well, let's go all the way through it, starting at first gear. First gear is actually called low, low. So that's all the way over to the left and back. So there's low, low. So I'm just going to go through the gears, count the numbers. All right, so there's first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth, fifth gear, sixth, seventh gear, eighth, ninth gear, tenth, back to neutral, flip the buttons, eleventh gear, twelfth, thirteenth gear, fourteenth, fifteenth gear, sixteenth, then seventeenth gear, and then finally eight, eighteenth. So there's the actual 18 speeds. Then in reverse, you've got one low, one high. Then you flip the range. You've got two low, two high. So actually, you've got 22 gears built into this six position shifter. Four reverse, 18 forward. So that's the way it works. Now you say, I don't want to be pushing those buttons all that time when you're driving. Well, in American Truck Simulator, you don't have to. Uh, low, 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 high is very rarely used. If you're pulling a heavy haul load and you're going up a steep hill, maybe you might need low, low, and low, high. Or if you stopped on a hill and you're pulling a heavy load, you may need it there as well. But typically in game, what I do is I start off in one low and then go to two then to three, then to four, hit the range, go to five, six, seven, eight, and then the splitter for the final gear. So you're only using nine of the 18 gears. So technically you're reducing your effort by 50%. Now, let's say you don't have a truck, a uh, trailer hooked up to you and you're just uh, bobtailing it, which is having no trailer hooked up. All right, in that case, this is where it gets very simple. Go second to ninth, then hit the range and go to six low, which uh, I'm trying to keep up with the gears here. <laughs> it's uh, uh, 11, 12, 13. This, is, this would be 13th gear. And then you go to 17th and then hit the splitter for 18th. So it's a lot easier driving than, than going sequentially through 18 speeds. So that's the basic setup for an 18-speed transmission. Again, you can put the splitter or the range uh, however you want. To be realistic, it would be the opposite of what I have here. But it's just more convenient for me to use the splitter on the front and use my thumb for the range. But normally, that would be the opposite of that. So I hope you uh, understand a little bit more about the 18-speed transmission, in particular the Eaton Fuller version that's on American Truck Simulator. The um, 
European Truck Simulator 2 has uh, doesn't have an 18-speed transmission. They do have what's called a ZF16, which works pretty much the same. It just doesn't use the final eighth gear position. So that's you can use this this transmission shifter layout for virtually any truck. Uh, it's just that some of the of the locations are going to end up being not used. Um, but you could go in game and set them up for a 13 or a 10 speed, um, and you wouldn't be using the splitter as much, and you'd be using all of the four positions. But for the 18 speed pent transmission, the setup they have in the game is absolutely perfect. And again, reverse these two buttons, and you've got a realistic, as is, as in one that would be in real life the same as what you're you're driving. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click the subscribe button below if you don't mind. And uh, we'll see you on stream, hopefully.